It's just after 8 a.m. and it is a cool, wet morning here in Jacksonville, Florida at the Diamond D Ranch. Pulling in, there is a lot of hustle and bustle and people getting ready, but a lot of the tents are still closed up because it's been raining all day and they don't want to expose their goods to all of the wetness. Thankfully, we are under Pavilion A and have overhead um, though we still do have some stuff out and um, tarped. It's 8.30 and this is my mess. I gotta get this cleaned up before 10 when we open today. So some of it is stuff we have to get through, get to um, pretty regularly there. Any overstock tools, um, extra earrings, things like that. Uh, packing supplies for the day, bags, wrap, uh, that kind of stuff. This is our packing table. So obviously it needs to be cleaned off and that's our cash wrap. So it's gonna need to clean off. And then I think I showed you the jewelry table um, earlier and it's also a hot mess. So these are going to be my priorities. But before I even get into that, I have some changes to make because we sold this bunny and its partner. So let me go get that. And one over here. He's got sold last night online. So I may have got to come off the shelves and I will throw those into my van. And then this bunny art got sold online last night as well from people who checked out the Facebook photos that I listed. So I've got to take this out and now I've got these two rather large holes that I'm gonna have to fill also so welcome to my morning so it's the first hour of the show and it is it's still a bit yucky outside but I am pleased to say that we do have the shoppers in our booth and I've already sold quite a bit um, we're having a little internet issues but one of my pillows has already sold and several other pieces, of course, lots of greenery, which is always our specialty. Um, they are flying off the shelf. Everybody knows where to get them. And look, we even have uh, fellow YouTube friends at the register. Y'all wanna say hi for YouTube? We're not live or anything, but we'll Hi. go in. Hi. So you guys follow us online? Yes. yes. Yay, yes. thank you. Glad to see you here. I usually see We're here. your videos in Georgia. So I'm nice. glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Honey's house. She is right across from us and her stuff is flipping cute all the time. Look at these little duckies. And the piggies. She has a bunch of them with little crowns on over here too. How sweet are they? They're so adorable. Anyway, this is just the outside and she always has great stuff. There is a little bit of overlap. She does buy from Lancaster also, but that's okay because we always style our stuff differently. And you know, that's just gonna happen at market. Look how cute she is far more rustic than we are and I love that about her booth because I personally love rustic. I just, I don't know, my husband doesn't really like rustic so I guess I've gone away from it and for me I find it's just a little bit harder of a sell in the Jacksonville market though she does very well. These little um, tree carrots are very cute. And she has similar bunnies to our little bunnies. I might have to buy myself a little brown bunny. Lots of doubles. I love the little crowns. He's very cute. They're looking at themselves. She packages her own potpourri and her own diffusers and things like that. Look at these chickens. Look at these chickens. They're so funny. They're 
are so great. Oh my gosh. I would personally pick up something like this in a heartbeat, including the extra crown, but I have six cats and this would not last five minutes for me. But her booth always has stuff that I want and very often it's the one booth that I get to shop at. Let's check out the rest of the outside because I didn't even realize she had another side to the booth until yesterday when I saw her sprucing it up. So she has these teeny tiny little dough bowls. I love them so much. she gets all the birds. Those were good rate in some of my vignettes on whatnot. Okay, so this booth used to be across from us a couple years ago, and then the lady who sells vintage clothing or the lace clothing moved into that spot and she moved down a little bit. I was excited to see them here this year because I didn't think they were under the pavilion anymore. Apparently, they had just downsized a little bit. And um, okay, we are at Busy Bee's Vintage Treasures. And here is her contact information in case you see anything that you like here that is still left after the show. You can see that. She style at all but it is a popular booth typically it is mostly manufactured and wholesale um, selling retail they buy a wholesale from overseas they are here pretty much every year they were not here this fall which was really unusual but they definitely um, are back they have great things it just is you know um, when I'm shopping for myself here I am usually looking for vintage or upside Okay, so this is the fabulous Funky Monkey. We have spotlighted this vendor before when we used to travel around last year. Uh, let's see, here are her upcoming markets. But she always has lots of fun handmade. How cute are these chenille owls? They are really adorable. Do I need to have one of these yellow ones? $20 isn't bad. That's real cute real real cute gonna have to spend some more time with my sewing machine and you know figure out how to locate some really cool pieces i like the use of the tiara under the cloche and these cute little mermaids in this upcycled jewelry box really lovely what a great way to upcycle 
some hats just to make them a little more fun, a little more, you know, cheeky. Some bunnies and hearts. Hers is very shabby, chic looking. Super cute, oh my God, look at that little tiny high chair for dolls. Really cute. Anyway, I do love this booth. Lots of smalls, smalls are really what make the weekend for you typically. But she also has furniture that is really nice and shabby chic, but more or less neutral um, with enough style that it feels different from other people. And that's a great thing. Okay, so we've got a blue Betty who is right directly across from us. You saw kind of in the middle of the setup phase, but here is what her booth is looking like now. She asked me where I thought that umbrella should go and I told her in my truck. Yeah, cause yeah, who doesn't want that? So her style of putting things together is really lovely. It is very Stevie Nicks and I so want to be skinny and Stevie Nicks-esque when I see her space. I really love the way she takes basic pieces and just sort of adds on to them. Lace and appliques, a little bit of um, other fabrics, lace or tulle or whatever it is for the different pieces and how it just becomes so unique. We're gonna step back since some customers stepped out and take a look at just some of the random things that I see peeking out. So this looks like a little long dress or a skirt and an overlay. Cutest darn little baby clothes. Cute, 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 cute. Uh, even a little bit of black, which is a little bit more my style. I need to see if she's got any without sleeves because I get lots of wraps, but whenever they have sleeves, I don't wear them because it's just too darn hot in Florida. So I'll have to check these out um, when I'm not filming. Okay, so this is me trying on that jacket that I like to put in my size. <sighs> Certainly shows off my big butt. But I think it actually gives me an hourglass, which I kind of like. Hmm. I'm gonna think about this for a hot minute. I'm gonna wander and see what Sue thinks. Let's go get her opinion. What do you think? What's up? I see you trying stuff on over there. I am. What do you think? I think you're shopping. But no, it looks fine. Yes, it looks good. It I mean, it does look like shopping, it but. It doesn't seem like you. Well, this will be like when I want to wear jeans, but I don't own jeans. Because jeans are completely uncomfortable. They're not for everybody. They're not for everybody. Do they look cute like my pants? Because this is size. This is the style of pants I wear. There you go. I do linen. I don't do jeans. But this is like. This is I think jeans are terrible. Those look so comfortable. But does this? Oh, I'm oh, on the I'm sorry. I thought you looked super cute. I'm trying on the vest from her. I think it's really cute. You like it? Does it look, does it fit me? I mean, I know you don't mind my personality, I was, but. I thought it was your whole, I thought that was That was my outfit. ensemble? Yeah. I think you look comfortable and it pulls it together. Okay. Way better than the whole wet dog look I got going on. <laughs> we do have some advantage in having a roof. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's true. You're out there? You do. Oh, yeah. I'll come say hello. Well, it is the end of day one, and I won't lie, it's been a little disappointing. It rained a good portion of the day, and that meant there wasn't a lot of traffic. We didn't sell any pieces of furniture. We actually did pretty good on our smalls. We actually sold a ton of our upcycled piece. Yes, the big, beautiful Pyrex set has found a new home. Um, my favorite pillow that I made found a new home. The table runner went with the pillow. So those were fun things. And we're already sparse because in some of these cabinets, we didn't have a lot of, you know, filling room to begin with. 
we sold most of my upcycled bunny art, which I'm thrilled about. A couple of the pieces actually sold before we opened because I posted them on Facebook and they sold from people that were making comments. We still have a lot of good stuff for tomorrow, but overall it is not quite um, what we had hoped for. Oh, look, you can see this guy. Well, no, there's still a reflection but you can see this guy better. I love him. Yesterday, he had a real bad reflection. So hopefully tomorrow we do move some furniture. We have had to rearrange things already. Um, no big glass sales other than the Pyrex, but a lot, a lot of people interested and some nice small sales of those kinds of things. I'm not sure I could define any one specific item as having been a big hit other than greenery, which, you know, is kind of the always what we have in jewelry. Um, those are things that are pretty common for us. I would say it was a nice mix of old and new. And again, I think I've sold just about all of the items that I upcycled, like the candlesticks and things like that. So we are ready for tomorrow. Hopefully it will be a really good day. Um, after today, we could kind of use it. Hey, it is the end of day one. Day one. Spring, Diamond D 2024. Friday. Yep. It was D E A D. It was a little, it was a little calm today. It wasn't the, the normal lines on a Friday. Um, but then again, it was, uh, it was raining. I, oh yeah, it was it was raining already. It was, raining. It was uh, cold too. It, it was. It was really it's chilly. Weird. I mean, it was like in the 60s, which for most of you is not cold, but for Florida, that's cold. Yeah, especially when you had the rain. Ooh, mm, yeah, it's just cool. not what we're accustomed to. Um, the I talked to the promoter of Diamond D, and she said this is the second worst ticket sales for a day, a single day that they have had since they opened. Did she mention if the other one was weather related as well? No, that was because that was the, the worst ticket sales were their first year opening. Oh, wow, okay, nobody knew them. And once they got to know them, it was like, dang, we got to go. Right, so the worst sales I've ever had was our first year, and this is the worst year since then. Well, it's gonna pick up this weekend. So she said that sales are good for tomorrow, but they have had record-breaking sales for Sunday. Nice. Which is weird. Sunday going to be busy. But furniture sales usually happen on Sunday. So maybe we'll sell some furniture maybe this that's year. That's what they're looking for. Because we got furniture and we want to sell it. She said that the re weather re um, report is supposed to be rainy for well in the morning. And people might think that it's going to be a muddy mess is what she's afraid of. The little picture shows the clouds and the sun. So if anybody were to dig deeper, they would learn that it's going to rain in the morning. But by mid-morning, it all clears out. We should have a nice day. So we had a lot of other vendors come to our booth and are being like, what the heck is happening here? It's true. Uh, oh, look, here's Sammy. Sammy wants to say hi. They're like, I heard from many vendors today that did not, including big ones, Sammy, that did not even make their booth fees back today. But, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow... I don't know. I always like to have a, a happy, optimistic. Yeah, and I'm going to give some optimistic news here. I'm just kind of laying the foundation. Yeah. So um, I had one girl, this is her first show she's ever done here. She only makes furniture. She didn't have a single smalls, and she did not have a single sale today. Yeah. And she had the, one of the little tents, and mm -hmm. 10 by 10. And uh, I've peeked over there several times throughout the day before we met, and her furniture looks nice from across the, the road. But we have a cavalcade of cats. I know they all want to be here. Um, here. They, they, they host us. Yeah, we've this been one's gone all day, Dean, by so, the way. And this one's Sam. Um, but I, I'm just sort of giving the overall. Uh, honey yeah. across the way from us, she said, I've never done such a bad market as that, today. That was shocking because she has beautiful stuff in her booth. She does. And She's actually, um, in today's booth or today's tour, you're going to see it. That's true. So, um, it was shocking. She did end up selling two of the large leather prints. Oh, good. Um, so she said that made up. And so now she's made her booth fee back, but it was an abhorrent day by everybody's standards. And I know this is not the fault 
of the promoters. Oh, absolutely not. No, no. So, you know, I want to be clear. It was an abysmal day, and I think there's a lot of things contributing to that. But the number one being, this is an outdoor event, mm. and um, outdoor events occasionally have rain, and that keeps customers away. Floridians don't mind rain if it's like, you know, 75 plus, I think. When it's warmer rain, we're okay with it. But it was chilly. It was downright chilly today. But there were brave hearts that came out. There were, but most of us don't actually own clothes to be in <laughs> cold like, rain. We're flip-flop people. Man. So after market, Sue went and did some photography. Because I do that. Because she does real estate photography. And while um, I had my foot in the massagers, um, kneading my toesies, um, I sat and watched last year's Diamond D um, videos, and or at least the one for day, day one, one, right? Kind of compare. Got to got to look back. Um, and I would say that I thought today was really terrible sales, but. Compared to everybody else, we were feeling really good because, like, I, I mean, at one point, Honey had said to me, I'm like, gosh, she had said, I've never done such a bad show. And I'm like, oh, we have. And we recounted our oh, our, um, our Memphis show, which I'll leave a link for down below. And um, so she won't let that one go. We, we need you never to sign up to do that show. It's important. It's true. And, um, our advice to you yeah uh, and honey's comment was well sure you've at least had sales and as i thought about it even when i recorded the video earlier of house of early in the morning we had probably a dozen people in our booth and there was nobody in hers when i looked back and it was it's not honey's booth and it's it just was it that's weird because i i always when they come in our side of the building they'll come in they'll look at us and and do whatever they're doing and then they beeline over to hers mm -hmm. and most of the time i feel like she does better than us yeah and she has a smaller space but yeah. she has such good smalls she has good stuff she has good stuff mm -hmm. pretty sandy ways in that so you know if you're in town come on down but then um so while sue was out oh yeah so i was feeling relative to everybody else that we did pretty good um you know and then i watched the video of how we did last year and then I pulled the sales mm -hmm. from today and I was like, wow, okay. Now I will say last year, we were a little disappointed in our sales on Friday. So two, not hey, this past guys. spring, but the spring before that, we did $8,500 over the weekend. We looked at, I looked at 2023 sales. And like I said, it seemed like we were disappointed last year, um, but that's because the year before had been yeah. the best year there, ever there for spring. There was a phenomenal it, year that just yeah. came out. Kind of blew us away so. yeah and we were like what the heck so last year was probably i think last year total we did around 5800 mm -hmm. um and so we were we ended up being very pleased yeah. with that and so with that in mind last year's friday sales were 2099 dollars really and today's sales i should have put my change back in the drawer and today's sales were 2.06, because I couldn't get the actual number because I'm not on my laptop. But so roughly 30 to $40 in difference between that's, last year and this year. That's good. And when we consider there were, I mean, I can't explain how, this is like today was worse than a typical Sunday. Yeah, it, it was it was different. It was slow. Um, it was relaxed. People were in good mood too. So. Yeah, I mean, the people I mean, that were shopping were shopping. Um, I mean, at least to some degree. I do think, I, well, I, I expected that our, num the volume of sales would be down. And then I expected that our average um, order per sale, like the ticket, the actual average ticket price okay. would be down. But honestly, it was in the ballpark. So we had 65 total orders. So we rang up 65 okay, yeah. sales today. And of those 65 sales, there was an average of 2.3 items on that ticket. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of smalls today. Yeah, and the total average order was $29.77. Now, I'm just going to say, because I haven't said it to you yet, our, uh, our sales on earrings 
It's been very slow. It was very slow today. And I thought that was shocking. It was. What we really sold a lot of greenery, as we always. Greenery. And people are enjoying this year's greenery. I mm -hmm. knew they would. We sold almost all of my upcycled bunny prints. Yeah, I know. In the I thrifted mean, frame. We started selling those before we even opened this one. Yep, that's true. And this doesn't account the hundred plus dollars in sales that we had last night. So if you look at that, yeah, um, because they were market sales, we actually did better. So I would count that. So we actually did better um, at the beginning of market. Um, and I don't think we had any online sales today. So so really, I think there's a chance that in that two, 2099, there were online sales. So we probably did as well this year as we did last year, maybe better for a Friday, Good. which is really shocking to me. Good, yeah. Um, I think people enjoyed the vintage. We didn't sell a lot of glass. Everybody to was looking at it. They oh were my God, they very were very interested. They went on over it and they loved it. So I, I know some of this is going to go tomorrow. I, I think we're going to set up a, a light just to keep it on the. I think I want to just turn a flashlight on and just leave it on. I mean, I don't know if that would work or not, but they definitely enjoyed seeing the, um, the 365 light on all of the green glass. I'm all gonna, of your reading glass. Leave, I'm going to leave one of them on there. Okay. And. And I think the deep teal, oh, that, the, pe the peacock hobnail set that was my, in my personal that collection. That was hers. So I'm surprised it's in there, yeah. but I think that's going to go tomorrow. I've never used it since I've owned it. I've only looked at I it know, looking it's, pretty. It's pretty. And, uh, I like to look at pretty things. I but... do like to look at pretty things. And I've just never used it. And this seemed like the show that it really fit into to resell. I could bring my drum out tomorrow. Oh my God, that'd be fabulous just to get it out of the house potentially. Um, but I, I mean, it was it was a little bit unusual. Like we we sold one arch, so not really, no, not really no. anything big there. We've had somebody looking at the other two to see which one she likes better. No, or? no furniture, no furniture yet. Yet, um, I mean that's typical for us. I think we if bring you're going to buy furniture, you bring the husbands to get the okay. It's true. You got to have that mutual okay. Do you like this piece, honey? Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, it was a lot of small. The little ceramic bunnies, of which I just bought all of Honey's little ceramic bunnies for the mini cloches. Oh, is that where all those came from? All I of, gotta take something out of the oven though. We sold, um, I think, just about all of the handmade candlesticks, handmade candlesticks. A lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot of what we sold today were upcycled items. Things that. Um, either we thrifted and um, painted, or they we sold a lot of stuff that came from under that house, the the garage that we dug through. We actually sold quite a lot of pieces from there, and some pieces that I really didn't think would sell. I just brought them because I thought they blended in nicely, and we rescued them. We should give them a chance for life. So like we really did sell several of those pieces as well. So that was really nice making those nice high profitability because we had nothing in them. So I think, oh, we sold a lot of coastal today. Hey, coastal, crack, crack me up. Yeah, so I feel like we bring coastal every year and Jacksonville is, you know, a city surrounded in water in one way or another and it never ever sells for us. I always thought coastal. Yeah, coastal. Everybody's wanting coastal. Coastal this, coastal that. Coastal. I mean, we might sell a little sign, you know, $5 sign here and there, but we never saw anything coastal. So uh, today we finally, you know, had everything set up because we have it in the warehouse. And I have more in the warehouse. I'm thinking we need to bring it. Made a big grouping of it and uh, added, you know, the crystal and those things to it. And I don't know, maybe it, maybe it, hot, you it's know. It's a coastal year for people. It is. So I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the rain just brought the water people out. I think the, the farmhouse people are either going coastal farmhouse or they're going grainy cottage. Mm -hmm. So I think they're getting ready to blend their, their style. And that's how they're splitting off. Yeah. That's so, just my prediction. Um, I'm curious to see how tomorrow goes. And we'll keep you updated. Hopefully you enjoy these videos and we will be back to crafty crafty videos after market because we really want to kind of get back into some of that. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get there. Yeah. Gotta do something. And, uh, we'll be doing our, our whatnots. And we'll be doing our whatnots. We will so, be live on whatnot on Thursday. Thursday. Will be next. Thursday at 7 PM. So, uh, otherwise we're going to go for a good weekend. That's right. Yeah. So, so, Outlook today, despite D-E-A-D, -E is 
We did as well, maybe even slightly better than last year. And uh, that bubble waffle was speaking to me this afternoon, so uh, I might have ice cream for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, I think ice cream might be required. <laughs> they weren't open today, though. They weren't? I don't think so. I think they were. Were they? I didn't think they were open until Saturday, so mm, I, don't know, I might have missed out. Dang it. Waffle. But there would definitely be bubble oh, waffles bubble tomorrow. Bubble waffle breakfast. They do it with stuff inside. <gasps> breakfast. Okay. We've got it planned for tomorrow. Yeah, we do. All right. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. And so last, well, those are items that escaped, that managed to come out from me the underground stuff. and maybe, you know, should have stayed there. Oh my goodness. That one, that one is a nice piece, guys. That's a nice piece. These ones still need they're, cleaning. No, they're broken already. Right? Oh, those are the ones without the handles. Yeah. That one, that one's not broken. That one's the other piece to that. I'm gonna break them if the cats don't. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Stop making them together.